The family tree of mammals is something we humans care about because we're in it. Well, an international collaboration of zoologists has come up with the ultimate family tree for mammals. And there are a few surprises in it. Dr Paul Willis takes us on a journey to meet the relatives. There's something familiar about mammals. That group of furry creatures that produce milk to nourish their young. They're arguably the most successful backbone animals of all, conquering the land, sea and skies, as well as every conceivable habitat from the equator to the poles. And of course we're talking about our closest relatives, but how closely related are we to the other mammals? What's the shape of the family tree? And how long has it been since we shared a common ancestor with a rat or a bat or a chimpanzee? Ba -doo -ba -doo. These are questions that have weighed heavily on the mind of mammal systemicist Robin Beck. Bum. People have been trying to work out the relationships between different organisms for over 100 years, but it's only recently that we've had the data and the technology to produce really big evolutionary trees of large groups like the mammals. Most of the branches of the family tree had already been worked out by other researchers. And after a decade of complex computing, this is what they came up with. A tree that grows from the centre out to the edges representing the present day. Let's start from the very beginning. This represents a point in the past some 166 million years ago when all living mammals shared a common ancestor. The first to split off are the monotremes, the egg-laying mammals, and that includes the platypus and the echidnas. The next split is at 147 million years ago, and that's between the marsupials and the placental mammals, representing the greatest diversity of living mammals. Well, the fossil record shows that for the first 150 million years of their existence, mammals were small and nocturnal, hiding from the dinosaurs. Um, but what our research shows is that uh, it was during this time that the major types of mammal first made their appearance. The placentals are a very diverse bunch, and they include our closest relatives. Here we are, Homo sapiens. That's us. Now, remember, as I walk back towards the centre of this tree, I'm actually going back in time. So, back here at seven million years, this is where we split from the chimpanzees. And back here at 19 million years, that is all the apes. If we go back even further to 87 million years, that is all the primates. And next to the primates, we've got the rabbits. And next to the rabbits are all the rodents, over a third of all living species of mammal. Over here, we have the hoofed mammals and the carnivores, and up the back, those are the bats. We now have a clear idea of how all the living mammals are related to each other. But putting the tree together produced some surprises. One of the surprising findings from the mammal evolution research concerns this dotted line. It marks the point in time, 65 million years ago, when the dinosaurs disappeared. The conventional wisdom was that in a world bereft of dinosaurs, the mammals would quickly evolve to take their place. But what the mammal tree revealed was a 10 million year gap between when the dinosaurs disappeared and when the modern mammals really took off. Although this 10 million year gap is very surprising, what's important to bear in mind is that we're only looking at the living mammals. There have been many other groups of mammals in the intervening time that did radiate when the dinosaurs went extinct, but they themselves have gone extinct before the present day. Now, I should point out that some systemicists, the scientists who work out how organisms are related, have problems with the way that this tree was put together. So you can expect to see some changes in the not too distant future. But this is a stupendous piece of work, and it's well worth taking a look at in detail. So we've put this graphic on the Catalyst website where you can log on and meet the relatives at your leisure.